Okay, Ruth, these are absolutely fun. Look at this. This is your favorite. These are blood worms. Would you just go ahead and grab a couple blood worms out of there for me? And uh, we need to cut up the big fat one. You want the fat one? I'm just kidding. You don't have to get the worms. I'll do that. These are blood worms. Spot's favorite bait. Now, I want to tell you something. These worms here, everybody sells them down here in Hampton. But we were out here yesterday, actually the day before. They got a little hard to find. So we had to go to quite a few places. And where we ended up was Buckaroo Bait and Tackle at Great Blood Worms. Also fresh seafood, fresh uh, North Carolina shrimp. Isn't that right, darling? Now this is the same way we've been catching the spot for, um, oh wow, I guess 40 years. You just catch spot on York River. And you don't need a real big piece of bait. You really don't. If you're wondering why I'm using my uh, very rusty handy duty, you know, tool. It's because uh, Ruth forgot the fillet knife, right? Isn't that right, Ruth? You say so. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Look, we popped the rag. Now we're going to give you the spinning rod. When was the last time you went spot fishing? Never. Never? Never. Never. Well, you are in for a treat. Wow. What do you got? <laughs> what do you got, Ruth? Look at that. I don't know. What do you think? Look at that spot. Don't roll it all the way up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a big one, isn't it? There he goes. There he goes. Spot, big spot. See, th these guys commercial fish for these. And we're just out in front of, they, they hate it when you, they commercial fish them all day. And we just come in front of their boats and get the spot. Isn't that good? <laughs> good spot. What do you think, darling? really beautiful. Now we're going to be catching and releasing all these spots. This is a beautiful spot. This is not a yellow belly. This is a very nice spot. Good eating. And to fix these up you just scale off the scales. Cut the head off and, and got them and that's it. But a beautiful fish. Good little fighter. And we're going to let them go. Here you go honey. Look you got your bait. You like that sweetheart? That was fun. That was good. Now to let it go. You want to let it go? Yes. Pop the bail. And there she goes. When it gets to the bottom just engage the reel that way or you can use the handle and you're good. Seventeen feet of water, the magic, the magic depth. Right here Ruth, what do you think? Say hello to everybody. Ruth's first spot trip. I think it's your first spot trip. Yes, what it is. Think? Is it? Yes. Okay, we're going to anchor up right here. I thought we thought I'm like crazy here yesterday. Tons of spots. No yellow bellies. We didn't get any yellow bellies. What we're doing is we're just fishing the last, the last two hours of the outgoing tide. That's what we're doing. And yes, we are fishing right here by Fort Monroe at the seafood. Well, actually, these are mostly all scallop boats. But uh, a lot of the work boats out in the Chesapeake Bay and fishing right here Hampton Roads that are fishing for spot, croaker, and their netting, they all come right into here and they offload right here. And they do a lot of processing here. So as you know, <laughs> this is a great place for fish. You know, lots for them to eat. Oh, you're doing good. That's wonderful. Another spot. Now we were just catching them like this the other day, I'm telling you. We had about 70 in two hours, catching them two at a time. All really good eating spot. What do you think, Ruth? It's another one. It's another one, isn't it? <laughs> Very good. Okay, let me out some slack. Hold on to the rod. You just pull it out. You're gonna need some more blood worm. Okay, Ruthie. Oh, here's my first spot. You getting a little nibble too? Woo! Look at him. You got him hooked up now. We're both hooked up. Get him, Ruth. Whoa! I'm going to let him go. Another spot. Catch and release. Did he come off? No, he's still on there. Really? Yeah. I think so. He might have gotten off. Yeah, he he didn't get off. Drop it right back down. Drop it right back down. How do you like spot fishing out of Hampton, Ruth? It's a lot of fun. Rob. Oh, cameraman Sean in on the action. Hey, looky here. All right. The fella. 
That's a that's not a spot. It's not a spot. A little bit there. All right, going back. Oh, I'm just gonna you got a little I spot. Don't look so I Now this is a throwback. We wouldn't we're not keeping any of these. But Laura. He got all tangled up. They just really hit these things hard, don't they? They sure do. They can bend the rod. They're not much on squid. They love bloodworms. There you go. He's going back. I think you need another piece of bait. Look at this spot. Oh, this is a big oh, spot. Wow. Look at that one. That'd be the biggest of the day. That's Look at a that. Beauty. Look at him. What do you think, darling? Beautiful. That that's a big spot. It and again, sure that's is. not a yellow belly. Now out here in another. Now we're fishing. Oh, middle of September, and from now through probably through October, these spots are just getting bigger and bigger, and they'll get yellow bellies. And and thing is, you know, the best tip you can get everybody out there when you when you come out here spot fishing, right here on the Go Green fishing machine. How long did it take us to get here? We're in Hampton. We're not even out on the Hampton Bar. We're just right around the corner uh, from well, the hotel, right at Crown Plaza, right? Absolutely. And we're here catching all the fish you want. And we probably will burn all of maybe 50 cents in gas today. If that, fish all day. You want to fish the, the last couple hours of the outgoing tide. And there's just loads of fish here. Oh, do you already have a fish on? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I think you got the bottom is what you got. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. But that's the best tip we can give you. As you got here, there's an awful lot of good fishing. There's some excellent rock fishing here, too. Literally right up, right up here gets where this light is. It's just some fantastic fishing. That's good. That actually is not a bad spot. Now this would definitely be one we do the frying pan, but we are releasing, catch and releasing today. Whoops! Spot's going back in the water. Okay, hand that over to me. I put some bait. Now Ruth, let me ask you a question. Yes, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> now you've been on a lot of boats, right? No, not really. Not really. <laughs> Well, now you were on our pursuit with the twin Suzuki's, the two fifties. Yes. Yes, uh -huh. a beautiful boat. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite boat? I really like the Carolina skiff. Do you? I love it because we we go creaking. You know. We go we go creaking. Mm -hmm. And what particular Carolina skiff do you like the best? Well, the Go Green fishing machine, of course. That's correct. We didn't even have to hold up a show card for you, did we? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great boat. I got to tell you, this summer we were out here and um, we'd only had the boat. About a month and it would rig it out. We painted the bottom on the boat. All the performance tests for this with the new 90, that's the second generation Suzuki, brand new 90 horse paper, all on our <clears throat> all on our website. What do you got? Oh, it's starting. Starting to pull. Wow. I still don't see it. There he is. Hold it right there. There you go. Man, these are just all quality spots. Here's some friends of ours that uh, we talked to on the internet, and they came down here to Hampton to do a little spot fishing. They just pulled up, and uh, we're letting them get right in our hole right here. And uh, they're just wonderful. We had a bunch of boats here from our trip yesterday. Say that's what we're catching. Not about like that in Beggar. You know, great. We fried them up. They were delicious. Yeah. Hey, Pop. How's it going? You gotta keep them straight. All right, send them down to the bottom, Ruth. bit about these races that go on here in Hampton every well, Wednesday. These races that go on on Wednesday night, they're called the beer can races. And it's just a group of guys that get together, like guys and ladies and you know everyone alike. I'm sure there's kids involved too. It's just a uh, friendly neighborhood. Let's go out and race each other and help hone each other's skills and have a good time and meet back at the dock and Very maybe good. have a social or two. Well, that's wonderful. Yes, indeed. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Congratulations on the marriage. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Yes. 
things are going lovely. We've got the 33-foot uh, boat that we're aboard right now. As everyone knows, we just bought the 43-footer. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're looking forward to putting some paint on her, maybe not this weekend, but next weekend, and getting her in the water and getting her on over here to the uh, lovely downtown Hampton area. <laughs> Trav, you gonna win the race today? Oh, yeah. Sure do. <laughs> we always win. We win because we have the most fun. That's how we win. How do you like staying in downtown Hampton? I love boat? downtown Hampton. I love it. <coughs> I don't know if I can afford keeping two boats down here, so we better get this one sold soon. <laughs>